he still needs a lot more uh, a lot more grooming to make him into that use the word superstar that they want him to be. It took Roman Reigns a hell of a long time. How many years yep. to where the fans just, you know, put up with him. Speaking of WWE guys, John Cena made a comment on Austin Theory. I don't know if you've heard about this. He actually said, and I'm going to quote this. I said to Austin Theory, you are young, you are athletic, you will work for this company and you will do interviews. I don't believe what you do when you're out there. I don't. I, I said that to him personally before I said it to him publicly. So he actually told him he didn't believe him in the ring, yet he put him over at WrestleMania. What is John's problem with Austin? Is Austin missing something right now? No, I don't think Austin is missing something. And maybe John Cena may be missing something. You know, John Cena, I mean, who is he to say? He, this guy's not believable. There are a lot of people that watch his matches and didn't believe in him. They didn't believe he you had nothing to is. do with no rapping when he was out there rapping. They 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 didn't buy that. So I, I you know I just you know I don't know you know I you know Cena you know he just gotta get caught up in it sometime. He's you know nice guy man you know and everything but yeah come on man. Now I want to say when it came to WrestleMania. Of all the matches on the card, and this is being completely honest, and I'm not trying to be mean to anyone, I thought that was the weakest match on the cards. John Cena, for me, just didn't deliver. Well, well I, I don't know. You know, it, it was, I can't, I can't say anything about it because I didn't watch it. So that's why right. I can't comment on it. But uh, like I said, man, you know how this business goes. You know, I mean, Cena's moved on now to become a big, big star. So sometimes, you know, that can go to your head. So, you know, you just have to just, you know, calm down. And my thing, my thing has always been this. Don't ever forget where you come from. So now, now that I'm lit up. Yep. Now that I'm lit up. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? You, wait, 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 wait. What do you mean you lit up? What well, you know, I, like, I was up? like this. What do you mean you lit, you know, lit not up? Not that kind of lit up, Teddy. Come on. We're not on the road. <laughs> I love you so but here's my, here's my theory. Okay? No pun intended. So, right. Yes, pun intended. Oh, okay. Here, here's my <laughs> theory. I understand what John Cena is saying. I think theory is tremendous, but he's not larger than life. John Cena during his prime time was larger than life. He was believable with whatever he did. The fans ate him up. Theory is not at that eat him up type of level where he's got a following and he wrestles really well and his interviews are good, but there's one piece missing to bring him to the next level. And that is something that is not, they're not pushing believability there. Does he have the it factor? I mean, the, the kid seems uh, this is a Georgia boy too now, so I'm not. I, you know, I you know I love the guy, but hey, uh, is, is he believable uh, to become somebody that could beat someone like Roman Reigns? I don't see him in that spot at this. No, not at this point of his career. No, no, it, it take a lot of building for that. You know what I mean? And like I said, you know, when you get to the part where it's where it's uh, you're believable, that depends on the talent. Yep. Not the writers, not Vince, not not no nobody. That depends on you to go out there and make the people believe. That's it's all on you then. So that it, you know, that's when you know a lot of guys don't understand how to get over. I I understood how to get over by not even talking, by just using facials. Facial right. expressions can sometimes say exactly oh, yeah. what you mean and how you feel, and you don't have to say a word. You have yeah, to be fact, animated. You have to be yeah. animated so in people fact, uh, can read we, you without words. When we were in St. Louis, uh, they had a, a wrestling match taking place. And uh, once the match was over, uh, Teddy and I went into the locker room because Teddy wanted to speak to the guys. And one of the things that you passed on to the referee at that time was you got to be more involved. You got to be more expressive. And that's exactly what you're saying. It's facials. It's, it's reacting to what's happening in the ring because you're helping tell that story as a referee in the ring. Well, all three people have to be on the same page. Right, right. But okay, they say that's why that's why I tell when I work with the Indies or something, that's why I always, when I was running this come down to Texas, I always had the guys to sit down and talk and go over their match so 
that way the referee can't tell me that well I didn't know they were doing that. Oh, yeah. we know so that that's bad on, on a lot of the Indians too. Nobody sits down and talking mm-hmm. over. And then I heard a couple of guys one time on there, and we'll call it in the ring. Come on, you what, what, what Jesus? You're not Christ. there yet. They <laughs> actually <laughs> said that. You know, oh, wow. so I'm saying to myself, so you really think that you're that good that you can call it in the ring? So now I understand why you're here and you never went anywhere. I think that also that the the whole thing with Austin Theory is that they're calling him the future of pro wrestling. I think that may be true, but he still needs a lot more uh, a lot more grooming to make him into that use the word superstar that they want him to be. It took Roman Reigns a hell of a long time. How many years yep. to where the fans just, you know, put up with him? I mean, look at Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre was uh, the chosen one at one time, and he had to leave and come back uh, to make it to his spot. And I think what Austin Theory needs to do is get close to Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels is down there, and Shawn Michaels, I just, this is is what I see. I see Shawn Michaels getting with him and making him one of the biggest stars WWE has ever seen. It's a good idea, actually. Really good idea. Let me ask you, you mentioned something a minute ago. It's, it's on the talent to get over. Uh, I, I want to do a comparison. The Attitude Era. Name the people who were over. Just Stone off the top Cold. of your head. Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Undertaker. Uh, golly, man. Uh, John Cena. Uh, the Rock. Yeah. Uh, was there anybody who was not over during that time? They all made their they made a name for themselves during the attitude era vince basically said give me something let's do something drastically different and these guys stepped up and everybody in the company got over now here's my comparison today's wrestling can you name off as many people as you named off in the attitude era that were big stars back then that had the drawing power because I don't see, it's two different animals to me. The Attitude Era had star after star after star. Today, I feel like we have two or three. Well, the Attitude Era, in my opinion, I think took it way more serious than mm-hmm. the than the young kids today. I think, you know, they take it more as entertainment and a yeah. show, not as, a, a, you know, a competitive sport, you know, and we're here to draw money, not to run out here and look good. So. That's what you have to be taught. And like I said, I, to, to guys like Shawn Michaels and those guys that are down in NXT, William Regal, uh, Zabisco and Terry Taylor and those guys, those guys know they come from the, the hardcore. And if these guys don't get it from them, then they, they just ain't going to get it. Well, keep it in mind also that the Attitude Era was the theme of WWF back then. It was the theme. Yeah. Right now, there's no theme. It's everybody comes in does their thing. It's different vignettes. It's different matches. There's no overall thing. NWO, when they were in the uh, WCW, that was the theme. Everybody was kind of under, you know, can we beat the NWO? So WWE doesn't have that currently. Well, Well, it's just, just, like I said, I think (coughs) our business has just changed. This is a different era. You know what I mean? So, you know, and and I realize, you know, we have to change with the business. (laughs) You know, if you want to, you know, continue to be involved, you got to change with it. You know, a lot of things I see I don't like and, you know, but hey, you know, what what do you do? You know, you just move on. 